Hi, I'm Rachel Rosenblum. I'm from Madison, Wisconsin, currently in Los Angeles. And my question is, why do we still circumcise babies? Um, it's my understanding that that is a tradition coming from cleanliness, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, and as we raise kids to be in control of their own bodies, why do we cling to that? I guess that's both the cultural question and the Jewish question. It's a very good question. Um, I, I believe, first of all, from a health perspective, I'm not quite sure that that's true because I believe that today that it's become very, very widespread for health reasons. But that is not what Judaism is uh, concerned with. Judaism is concerned with the mitzvah, the commandment that there is to a male be circumcised. And there's a very um, interesting symbolism in that. And the symbolism is, is that we're born with an imperfection. And it's our responsibility to remove that imperfection. And when we remove the physical imperfection, we send a message to ourselves that we also have spiritual imperfections. We have character imperfections. There are endless levels of growth that we could achieve in character development and refinement. And the bris, the mila, the, the, the operation that takes place gives us that hint and says, hey, life is about improving oneself. We're not born perfect. And what we find is the commandment of bris mila is really upon the adult, the person himself. But his father is commanded to do it when he's a child. If the father didn't do it, he has to do it himself when he becomes an adult because the parent is also supposed to get on board. My message to my child, my message is, I am dedicated to helping you perfect yourself you hopefully will continue to recognize your imperfections and work throughout your life to refine those imperfections. And that might be the secret that keeps Jews constantly reminded that life is about refining our character.